Testing, testing, one, two, three. Okay, this is gonna be a one take Wednesday for you today. I don't have much to say other than this. I feel FOMO recently, like a lot of FOMO. I don't know how it happened. I was very content just doing what I normally do. Um, but I don't know if you know, but I live in Winnipeg and in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, there's been a lockdown. Like we're in code red right now. So there's basically like a, a desire from the government for you to stay in your home all the time. Like not to do anything. Don't shop, don't do, don't do, and don't go out anywhere. Th that, that's how kind of how bad it is or how bad they say it is, all that. Um, so basically my life is like really one component right now it's like work i'm like working on stuff doing daily disciple stuff shooting editing creating reading all that stuff working on some like strategy and other life stuff and then other than that it's like okay hanging out with my family and that's pretty much it watching tv it's not a good life balance at this point. And I feel like I'm watching, <laughs> like just an example here. I gave, I, I was like, hey, what are you on Instagram? I was like, hey, what are you excited about coming up in the future? And there are tons of people, like you guys just went all out and you're sharing, and, oh man, I got this coming up and this coming up and you know, going out uh, with my friends, this place and this place and this place or whatever. We're doing this with my family or friends. And it just got me feeling left out. It got me feeling like I was like, I'm missing out on all this stuff. And this is not new for me, honestly. Like the lockdown kind of amplified it, but I've always felt that way. Like when I was in university, I felt like I was missing out on what was outside of university. And when I was outside of university, um, like now I'm like, oh man, like that seems like I'm missing out on that. So it's like you never get to a place where, where you're like content really or at least I haven't, right? But it's like, what does that say about me? What does that say about my heart position before God? I think it says that I'm I'm looking for something apart from God to satisfy me, to bring me joy, to bring me um, purpose and, 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 and all that stuff. I'm looking for, th for exterior things to bring that to me because look, like, I think it's a good desire to want to be with friends or to have cool experiences or to go cool places. Like, that's awesome, right? But God has called you to what, like, what you're doing now. Like, what you're doing now is your mission. Like, that is what your what your objective is, right? And and when we're constantly um, preoccupied with what we're not doing, with where we're not going, with what we're not saying, or what we're not creating, or about oh, what we're not accomplishing. Like, when we're constantly consumed with with what what else ever else is going on out there then we never truly dedicate the time and the energy and the effort necessary to fulfill what God has called us to here. And so that's what I'm that's what I'm thinking about because I'm thinking okay, even in conversations with people recently it was so weird. Even in conversations with people, I find myself getting spaced out thinking like, oh, you know, I got to be accomplishing this thing or I got to be doing this thing or I had this idea, oh, let me flesh that out. And I think it's just this overall posture like I got to make it accomplish something make something of myself and 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 so it's just kind of all this focused energy to finding out what that thing is that's going to bring me to that point of satisfaction and fulfillment but in turn what i'm actually doing is 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 looking over and and for forgetting about the things that are actually important like those relationships like those you know whatever those zoom calls with people like those interactions like whatever god has called me to now like focusing in on that thing and being thankful that i'm able to do that and not being so anxious or or uh, have so much tension about what i'm not doing or fear of what i'm not doing or what i'm missing out on because if we truly believe that God is sovereign over our circumstance, if we truly believe that God is with us, even in the mundane stuff of life, then we have to believe that that He, that that's what He wants us in. Like He He's in that, right? God is in those those things that may seem insignificant to us or may not seem like the the thing that we want to be doing most right now. Like. I, I just had this thought, like, I want to change the world. Like, honestly, I want to change the world. And that may, might, that might sound naive to you and you're like, oh, it's idiotic or, or he's such a kid or whatever. But to me, like, that's the, when I think deep, 
within my soul. I'm like, that's what I want to do, but I just got to find out how to do it. I just got to be able to impact enough people to make something happen, to make something of myself. But, but that's all coming from me. That's not coming from like, like all that, all that, whatever. Um, that's me trying to do it on my own is what I'm trying to say. That's me trying to accomplish or figure out life or, or help the world on my own. In those moments, I'm not looking to God and what, in his strength. And so that's, that's where the shift is happening. When I get so preoccupied or fear of missing out or all that, it's all because I'm thinking about my own strength. I'm thinking about my own intellect. I'm thinking about my own ability to, to do something in this world or to accomplish something or to make something of my life. But when I can look to Christ and see he is sovereign over my circumstances, he cares for me, he loves me, he is guiding me, then I can be, then I can establish some sense of rest because I don't need to be constantly preoccupied with how to make that next step or how to, you know, you know, do that next project or, or whatever that next thing is, is that, that I feel like is going to, going to get me somewhere. No, I, I can take that, that conversation and pour all my focus and effort and, and, and heart into that conversation. That's meaningful. And I can focus on what I'm doing right now on making this video. And that's meaningful. And because God's in that, because that's what he called me to right now. And I don't need to be so stressed or anxious or fearful that there's something else out there that I should be doing right now because obviously God's led me to the point where this is what I'm doing. So I'm going to be content that I have this ability to do this. I'm also going to be excited and, and just anticipatory, if that's the right word, of what God will lead me to in a couple minutes from now. And, um, and I don't need to be fearful. I don't need to let social media or I don't need to let, you know, whatever else is going on in the world, whether it's, you know, more opened up and people are able to do fun things that I'd like to do. Like, that's okay because God's in control and, and I want to trust him. I want to believe him in that. Um, I think that's all I have to say. <laughs> I think that's, I just, I wasn't sure if I was going to put out a video today. I just decided let's, let's talk. And, uh, I just want to let you guys know, thank you so much, uh, honestly, for joining Patreon. There's 25 patrons right now. That means we're halfway to the goal of 50 patrons. Uh, the goal is to get there by the end of the year. So that means we need 25 more patrons. It's five bucks a month. And, uh, man, it, it, like, honestly, I can't explain to you how exciting it's been to see the, those of you who have already joined join because that just motivates me more to step into God's calling for my life. It's kind of like answered prayers, basically that I'm praying to God, like, please God, like provide for me in this way. And God is faithful to rise up people that, that are supporting. So thank you for that. It is just confirmation that, that I'm going to continue on this path and I'm going to keep cranking out content, preaching the gospel, sharing the love of Christ with people and pointing them to the everlasting hope in Jesus. So thank you so much. Head on over to patreon.com slash daily underscore disciple to join. And uh, that would mean so much. Thank you so much, guys. I hope you have a great day and I will see you later. God bless.